So I'm finally back from Denver, and if you follow me on Twitter, you would have known that's where I've been all week. Now that I'm back, I finally got to try out Battlefront's latest DLC, Rogue One Scarif. And now, you can hear my thoughts on it. This DLC is garbage. And no, it's not just because I suck at jungle maps, which, yeah, I do. But I honestly had high hopes for this DLC, and I said that on previous videos. So don't blame me for being a hater on DICE or whatever you want to say. Where this DLC goes wrong for me is that it's just underwhelming for the most part. The maps all look almost identical, and before you whine about but they didn't have much room to work with, all they had was the little beach islands from the trailer, yeah I know, but they still could have used more. I mean the background is more interesting than the actual maps. On top of the map problem, the infiltration mode just doesn't cut it for me. Nothing about it seems new enough for a DLC, a paid DLC at that. It's just again, a skin of the old modes, cargo and walker assault slash sabotage and the Death Star trench run. I mean, would it kill them to add some innovation to this game? And then there's the new items and weapons. First off, there's a lot less than we were used to, only having two new weapons and one star card total. And out of those, I think the best addition was the DT-29 and the Sonic Imploder. But you can have your own opinion on that. The A180 just underperforms for the most part since you lose your star cards. And yeah, that's innovation, but not really good enough innovation and still not enough for, again, a paid DLC. The new pickup seems straight from old school Call of Duty with a TIE striker that randomly kills rebels in an area and a U-wing that you hop into the turret of hopefully to rain hell on stormtroopers, but most of the time you just end up shooting the ground and getting hit markers. Overall, this DLC has an unintense feel and just underperforms all around. I didn't get a different feel to this DLC and being a paid DLC, I expected better, especially after the great love for Bespin and the Death Star that I had. Now all of this is excluding the heroes because that's another review for another date. But for now, this, this, this DLC just upset me. I was so excited to come back and play it. I was so excited to explore Rogue One Scarif and all it had to offer and Death Troopers, Shore Troopers. I was just so excited. I've put time into this DLC and before making this decision and yep, that this is, this is what I, this is, this is what I came out with and I'm just a little bit disappointed, so. I give this DLC a rogue 0 out of 10. Hey guys, make sure to check out my other content right here on the screen. Rebels Recap comes out Wednesday, and remember to share this video with your friends. We're almost at 100 subs, which means somebody's getting two Rogue One tickets. Maybe I'll see you there, because I have my tickets for Friday. So, But that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.